bitcoins are increasingly being branded as the internet of money. But for those unfamiliar with the concept, help us better understand by breaking it down in layman terms. Absolutely, the best way to understand bitcoins is to compare it with the internet. So if you think about before the internet, the way you would consume media or the way you would communicate, uh, you would need a middleman for everything, right? So for example, if you would want to watch television, the middleman would be Doordarshan or CNN. If you would want to make a call, the middleman would be the national phone service like AT&T or uh, BSNL um, for news, newspapers and so on and so forth. What the internet did was remove the middleman. So now two people could share videos, communicate, share text messages, uh, voice calls. And when that happened, innovation happened on a global scale on this network. The other thing that happened was that there were different networks for different medium, right? And all of these mediums homogenized on this one network, the internet. If you think about the current financial infrastructure, there are different networks for different purposes. So if you want to do a small transaction, then we use wallet companies like Paytm. Uh, for larger transactions, we use RTGS, NEFT. Then every country has its own infrastructure, own network, and none of these are interoperable, right? What Bitcoins does, it homogenizes all of these networks into one decentralized network. Bitcoin and the Bitcoin network is going to be the next internet, the internet of trust, the internet of value, the internet of money. And we want to be at the forefront of uh, leading this revolution.